Hey, Game Makers, GB Gaming here. Okay, gotta make sure I'm recording. Is my sound on? Yep. Okay, just have to do some little quick checking. And I made a little addition to most of my skills. So then, you don't always do a, the same amount of damage every time. All depends on a mini game. Uh, uh, they will wind up being a bit more customized. A full release. Yeah, this one I'm doing right now. I'll show you how to do it yourself. This is like physical attack. Like, I'm, I'm hoping that someday they'll be able to put more than one of those. Not to match the combo or a hit. Oh, they'll take now. Like, this is like a, this circle for the magic and shooting play attack. Get more damage too. Well, that one needs to put some stuff in the plan for it. Right in it. Is that a fuck up? Oh! Perfect hit! Hit. So yeah. There's only a few skills that don't have this. There are transformation skills and mystical. I got flying with the bicycle bit a slogan I have to uh, roll on properly. I can have some going. Sure thing the other one. Oh crap, that's a, that's the that's one. Keep the game on my system system. I'll show you how I did that. For what I did, okay, just ignore this one for now. I'm still trying to get this to work. But you're gonna need the Time Attack Core from SRD. I forgot who made this. Some random dude. So I'm gonna have to add it, his name to, to my opening. Spoiler alert. And his circle add on to it to Time Attack. First of all, you're going to want to adjust your settings to what you want. Where's the... How does any repeats for this? Fuck. And here's the other one. For a circle. After you adjust your settings accordingly, basically you can change the color and all that and the speed. You could. Like I know you could change it for certain attacks, but still don't know how yet. Got to really look at that video. But here's what you basically do for normal attacks. At the top, you want to put time to attack default in these little arrow things. 
And you always, and I, that's what I do for physical attacks. And then afterwards, you put end timed attack. But, for stuff like magic, I did timed attack circle. But you still have end timed attack. But normally, if if you don't set up the formula correctly, it'll, the minigame won't affect it. That's why you gotta put you know, the original formula in parentheses. Space, time, space, and then you put dollar sign, game temp, dot dash, underscore, power. That way, it's affected by the mini game, the strength of it. I made the, and the image could change, too. So, and that's basically it in a, in a, it in a nutshell. Like, I did this for literally all my skills except for some. Like, the energy distribute, the energy charging, my charging ones, and specials and such. Like, mystic arts and such, and power up skills. And obviously, the revert one. Like, what point would I, what purpose would I have? It doesn't do damage. This, so you add a little extra challenge to your game. So then. And. It's not always like buying a major damage all the time. You, the people have to time it so then they don't have to speed through the fight, which could really be an interesting aspect to add to your game. You know. Well, that's all for this tutorial. Still trying to get the Undertale dodging system to work. I have to look at it later. But I'll try to get it to work, guys. Don't you worry about it. Well, that's all for this episode. Hope you all liked it. Make sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Well, you don't have to favorite, really. I don't think much people use favorites anymore. But you can like it, which is down at below the video. And also, you can comment, which is even a bit farther. And the subscribe button's literally near, like, to the left of... The the like button. Okay, so that's all. Chibi Gaming, signing off. Peace!